wonderful day today. It is Sunday the 16th. And today is my um, final day of the seven days or seven videos in seven day challenge. Um, I typically don't do any videos on Sunday. So this was kind of a new one for me. I was trying to debate like what was I going to do. Um, the idea I had didn't pan out today. Um, I still am going to do that idea. But it just wasn't working out today. So I was trying to think of something quick and easy that I could do for you guys. Um, but that would still give you some good content. Um, and so what I decided to show you. This is going to be a quick video. Um, because I'm just going to give you two little snippets of information. Um, one is just a little tip that I have been doing for quite a while that like I do on every single diamond painting and I have for probably the last nine months or so. Um, and the second thing is um, I'm going to show you how I keep my extra drills. So we're going to actually do the second thing first so that I can put this away. But um, I have four of these um, and they're Daris, I believe is how you say it, um, containers. And, um, I have four right now and I have two actually coming to me because I have the four already full. But when I get ready to kit down a project, um, I basically, I get these out. So I have four, like I said, I have one, um, that says round drills and then I have one that says round drills two and then I have this one that says square drills and then the second one says square drills two so that way I know and they, I keep them in order from the smallest number to the biggest number this way if I run out of a color or I need a color for any particular reason it's that quick I know exactly where to go to get that extra drill if it's not there I know I don't have that color um, it's so much easier than the way I used to do it and I used to put them in bags and I would have to just dig and dig and dig and dig and as hard as I tried to keep them organized it didn't work this works for me um, not saying it'll work for everybody but it works for me and I really really like it um, these can hold a ton of drills, you guys. I mean, seriously, there is a lot of drills in here. I'll just show you if you haven't ever used these. They're really easy. You just put your finger there and you just pull up and then the lid comes up. And you can actually, if you want, you can take the whole lid. I don't want to spill the drills. Actually, I'm going to dump it and then I'll take it out because these are, this is really full. Um, this whole, the lid actually comes off if you want to. So it just pushes in and pulls out. Um, I don't do that very often. I don't find a need to do that very often. But as you can see, I mean, look at that. That is a lot of drills, you guys. A lot of drills. I can't remember how many it held. Um, at one point, I had figured it out. But anyways. Um, so yeah, they hold, it holds a ton um, and there's 80, is it 82 or 83? Now my math is going to escape my brain. It holds either 82 or 83, um, of these little storage container, individual storage containers. You can actually get different kinds too. Like there's bigger ones. So like if you wanted to have ones, like a big one for all your extra 310s, you could do that. Um, I haven't done it that way just because, I don't know, I just find it easier just to buy these. And if I need to do more than one 310 box, I will. Or whatever. Um, whichever one I'm doing at the time. But yeah, I do have, see, I have two, two 310s right here. So, um, and then what I do is uh, instead of using another label, if, if there's one directly under it without a number on it, I know that it goes to the top one. Anyways, so I find this to be super simple, super easy, um, and it, it's just really, really handy when I do occasionally need to go back and get some extra drills. Like for what I'm doing right now, I'm going, I am getting low on a color because I spilt them. Um, and if I have the drills extra, I might as well use them. If I don't, then I'll contact DAC and get some extra ones. But if I have them here, why not use them? Um, I do not keep drills unless they are good quality. Um, you know, if they're, if they're qua like borderline quality, I chuck them. If they're bad, I chuck them. Like, I don't know, it's kind of a, 
a release if you're working on a kit that has bad drills in it and at the end and you're all done and you can just like throw them away it feels so good I'm serious it really does it's like ah getting rid of all these crap um, <laughs> but anyways I've been working on DACs for a while now so I haven't really had that experience but lately but I have in the past um, oh my gosh, I could not wait to throw out those drills from that hippo painting. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, so that's how I store my drills. The second thing I wanted to show you is this little thing. I, I don't remember where I came up with it, um, but I've been doing it for... I don't even remember when I started. It's been that long. It's probably been at least nine months. And since I started this, you guys, I do it on every single painting. Every single one. Because it, it is so handy. If you are like me and you spill your drills, this is like, it, you. if you do this, I swear to you, you're going to be like, how did I go without this? <laughs> like, how did I do it? Um, because it is so handy, you guys. Okay, so if you can see on my list here, all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, there is a drill next to every single number. So, when I am first starting my project, every time I get a new color out, I put a tiny drop of super glue. And this is kind of important to me, anyways, because I've done it once with a different kind and I didn't like it at all. But I use the um, Gorilla Super Glue gel. The gel holds, so you can put just the tiniest, tiniest pin drop of glue on there and it's not going to run all over your painting or anything. Um, and you, only, like I said, just a tiny, tiny drop of this and it works. Um, anyways, this way. If you spill your drills and you're like, oh crap, I, I'm sorry, my camera is so wiggly today, you guys. I've got it on, uh, yeah, I, I'm not even going to try to explain. Just say I'm sorry because it's wiggly today. Anyways, what I was going to say was um, if you spill your drills and you're like trying to figure out where that, what color you spilt or whatever. Like, I know you guys have done that and you're like, crap, I can't tell if this is a 310 or an 823 or what. Like, or 939, I mean, or a 310. Sometimes it's hard. Um, or sometimes you just have absolutely no idea. So you can take that drill and you can, let's say for instance, so I've got my little cup of drills that either were spilt or like trash drills. And you can take a drill. I'm just going to dump one out here really quick. Uh, where's my tweezers? All right, so you could pick a drill up with your tweezers like this, and then you can just literally go down the line and be like, okay, which one, which one, which one? And then, uh, there you have it. It's the winner. You know what I'm saying? And so then you can for sure know what color you're using, and then you will not get confused. And if you just need a quick check, um, if you look at your key often, this is a wonderful tool to use. Now, I do suggest, um, now everybody has probably different ways of doing things and um, so this might not work for you, but what works for me the best is because I've heard of other people that have done this as well that have used this tape right here, but with DAC, the tape doesn't go far enough over and I would prefer it to be somewhere where I could still see the symbol and the DMC number. And so I just put it right in the middle of the number and the symbol because I still do look at that log and I want to be able to see all that information. Um, so this way, if it's just right in between them, there's no problem with reading, even if you wanted to read the number, the symbol, or the DMC, no problem at all. Um, and so this doesn't take very long and like, like I said, every time you get out a new color, like that you haven't done it yet, um, put a little tiny glue, put it there and then keep going. And pretty soon you'll have them all there because you're going to be working, if you're like me anyways and you do sections, you're going to be working with them. And so, yeah, it's super easy. It doesn't take long and I, pr I promise you, it, you'll, once you start doing this, you will not want to stop because that's how I feel about it anyways. It has helped so much. And then the other thing I do with it is when I'm all done with the painting um, and I am 
either mounting it or framing it, I actually cut this piece off and I save it. Um, and I put it in the log because then if I need to, for whatever reason, go back and be like, oh, I need a certain color. I need to know what color that was or, or any and anything. And I've actually used them twice. It doesn't happen often, but hey, it doesn't take much. I already, if I'm framing it or mounting usually, I'm already cutting this off anyways. So I just stick that piece in an envelope and I go. And then I have all of the logs from all of my past ones um, just right there in the ready. So that is what I was going to share with you guys today. Um, I was thinking about doing a whole like tips and tricks video and putting it in that, but I figured, you know what, for today I'm just going to give you that little snippet and then I will be doing um, a whole tips and tricks of things that I have learned and come up and, you know, came across, made up, whatever, um, for the last almost two years that I've been diamond painting. So, that is all I have though for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend and I will be seeing you. I will not have a video every single day this week, but I am making it a goal to prioritize and make more and more videos, get more and more content out to you guys, more whipping chats at least one a week um, because that is my most requested video. So, uh, but I hope you guys have a absolutely wonderful rest of your day as I already said. And as always, don't forget, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are loved more than you know. So with that, keep on shining, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.